Hi treasures, looks like we're going to hear some tea. Let's get started. Please like, subscribe, leave comments, it helps us a lot. Love you treasures. Yeah, I'm spilling tea internationally because I can't enjoy my fucking vacation until I make sense. I need to like tell you what happened so you can tell me if I'm, I'm in the wrong here. I need to know if I'm in the wrong because I'm, I'm being told that I'm in the wrong here. So let me tell you about the situation that happened this weekend, okay? And then you can tell me who's wrong. You tell me your side of the story. You tell me what you think, okay? Yeah, and I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care if we both go to jail at this point. I'm so fucking, I'm so out of my mind. I don't care. So how about this? All right. So, um, so yeah, I knew he was moving or whatever, and like being away from him for a while was actually I was doing great. And then what happens with me with him is that like if I see him again or like any kind of contact, like it's like ripping off a scab for me, you know. And he doesn't understand that because he doesn't have feelings the same. Like that's obvious. I just confirm that. So whatever. Anyways, okay. No, I can't breathe because I just don't. I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. It, like, he's fu he fucking torments me behind the scenes, and you don't see any of it. And him and Dee Dee go online and they act fucking normal and make me look crazy. That's what fucking happens every time. Every time I trust him again, he fucks me over again. Welcome, spooky girl. Then stay away from them. Anyways. So you know what? You fucked me over the last time. I'm going to fuck you over now. Okay? How about that? So, yeah. You deserve it. You need to be held accountable. You never take accountability for anything you fucking do. Tell us. So. I, I, it's so unbelievable. I can't even tell. Like, okay. So here's my. Who's in the wrong? Basically. I won't, so. I was in contact with Didi because we're, I'm not allowed to talk to Natter. So I was talking fucking Didi as the fucking mediator. You know why? Because Natter can't have a friggin... Anyway, I'm not going to insult him because I don't want to like it. I don't, I don't want to get reported. I'm telling what happened and I'm allowed to tell what happened. So I'm not insulting anybody. I'm telling what happened. So what happened was um, I wanted my grandma's blanket back. Like I, wanted, like I just said basically, like I knew he was moving and he doesn't have any care for like people's things. Um... So he would just probably throw out my stuff, or I don't know what he would do with my stuff. Like, he didn't even bother to even ask Dee to contact me. Like, what are you going to do? Just leave it there and move to Montreal and forget, like, any sentimental stuff I left behind or whatever. So anyway, I was, like, going to make an arrangement. I just said, like, I messaged Dee Dee, and, like, I have, like, just saying, like, hey, you know, like, and I have all the messages. And I said, hey, you know, like, I I don't really, you know, if, if you're going to throw the blanket out, I get it. So maybe I can arrange to get it from you. So... Anyway, he ended up getting on the fucking video chat, and, like, we were talking or whatever, and then he told me to come get my shit. And then I ended up, we ended up talking, and he, I don't know if he trusted me or whatever, but I ended up driving them to Montreal. Of course. And lie and be like, no, he didn't, because he's going to get in trouble. But this is the thing. You, you were too concerned about getting in trouble. You fucking lie to me, and you drive me crazy. Like, he had no, okay, so here's the thing. I drive them to Montreal. They're like, we're going to pick up bottles of wine, because Dee Dee, ask her to show you behind her sink. She has, like... 800 fucking empty wine bottles. She doesn't sleep. She drinks wine all night. Anyways, because I'm pretty sure he's driving her nuts. Like, she must be in love with him, and he's, like, fucking with her and using her now. He's moved... Yep, look up narcissistic triangulation. He's moved right the fuck on. Like, and I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. I know I look crazy. I'm going to admit to you right now I'm crazy, because just not long ago, I messaged him that I want to move in with him. Like, I, I'm like that with him. Like, I'm, like, one minute, I want to fucking destroy him, and then the next minute... Because of everything he's done to me, like, I feel like I can't get past, like, I don't know, like, anyway. And then the next, next minute, I'm, like, in love, like, I'm just obsessed. I don't know, like, my feelings are fucked, like, and I feel like it's, like, a product of him constantly fucking manipulating, like, just constantly. Like, for example, this weekend, he had no problem, and Dee too, had no problem with me risking him in the protective order breaking the protective order to go to Gatlin and get my shit when he's there. But then when we get to Montreal and shit went south, 
so basically like I wanted to get like I want privacy I wanted fucking privacy with him so like yes I seen him again so that like made me want to see him over and over and over again like I was like re-hooked and I wanted to see him so I wanted to get a hotel and I wanted to spend my birthday with him in a hotel bad stupid I know whatever fuck whatever it is what it is that's what I wanted and did you he wanted to I guess he got in my car and we were driving away and fucking Dee Dee freaking call, calling freaking out come back now come back now she's like I'm going to the hotel with Chantal she's like no you're not and it's like why are you so why are you so concerned like are you fucking for real like oh my god so I'm, then I'm pissed like you're lying to me obviously if she's that invested she's like gonna she's and threatening to talk to your harem about it and drinking wine so we go back to her house he convinced me to go back to her house anyway like you have a fucking mom you have like nice life you have oh that's what gets me mad what was wrong with your old life with me like i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it like how somebody who can just like fuck with your fucking heart and your emotions and then just move on like you were nothing you need to go get you some help you keep going back you keep doing it you can't always blame nader he may be a bad guy but you need to get you help and you need to start staying away from him and that's just that that's just it if you stay away eventually you're going to get over it if he abused you so bad stay away from him come on now darling sheesh and just ignore me. I sent him messages all fucking day. Like, oh, I can't. I can't do this. I can't. I can't live like this. It's going to destroy me. Um, and he doesn't, like, oh, I, I can't. You she could. Off. She swore on her fucking mother. She doesn't even tell her mother. Who's in a nursing home. Oh, yeah. And by the way, nice friend, Natter. So we get drunk all night. Uh, I don't even want to talk about what fucking happened. I don't want to talk about it. I fucking hate him so much. This then, minute. I freak out. And then, anyway, I ended up getting really sick. He fucking hides my phone from me all night. He's, like, he got really drunk, and she got all pissed because he, like, was supposed to go see her mom at the group home with her, and she's like, Natter, you're not going to do this to me. You're not going to do this to me, Natter. And then, like, they got in a big fight, and she's like, you're not going to talk to me like you talk to her. Yeah, she, yeah, he will, you fucking moron. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he hid my phone again all night. OMG. And I, I, I honestly, part of me wanted to see, I want, I, like, I'm fucking, you, you, this is your fucking fault. So when you, this is your fault. You know why? Because you and Dee don't do anything to make me feel secure about anything. Like you, that night that I was there, he told me he loved me over and over. You tell me you love me. You want something with me. You were crying. But then you fucking act different. Like you fuck with me. This is what happens. Like you can't fuck with people's emotions like that. You can't. You can't. No, you're not going to get away with it. She's got her money back, so there'll be more natter in her future. I'm really not doing this for drama. It's really destroying me. Whatever, I just can't get that you're wanting a man that abused you so badly and did so many horrible things to you. What is wrong with you? Go get some help. Like, so you're going to tell me. So you're going to tell, and then he has the nerve to be like, it's risky. You can put me in jail if I go to the hotel with you. So you're going to, oh, this is, this is what doesn't make sense. And this is what, why I'm crazy. And I'm doing this today, you motherfucker. So, Gatno, his house is in Gatno. The police station is on, on his street. You're going to fucking tell me that. The whole deed is like, what about my feelings? I'm going to be up all night drinking wine. <laughs> Go fucking play with your fucking vibrator, you stupid fucking idiot. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my god. So anyways, nobody's ever made me feel this way. Nobody, 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 nobody in my fucking life has made me this crazy. I know why Delphine had a heart attack. Yeah, you gave it to her. Anyways. Jeez. I'd say unbelievable, but it's not. You have no problem with me coming over 
when it's convenient for you to give a fucking ride back to Montreal because you're complaining that you had to use all your money in Uber rides with Dee back to Gatineau. But then you won't go take a hotel room with me because Dee Dee's crying and threatening to tell your harem that you're with me. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Dee. Fuck you, Natter. Fuck you, harem. Fuck you. Fuck you. You want to fuck you? You can also fuck you. Wow. Just wow. So, that's what happened. And it pisses me off. He's a fucking liar. I hate liars. And what, it especially pisses me off because he's, when I, the second day I met him, I like felt like I got to know him. Like, my brain is still not accepting that the natter I idealize doesn't fucking exist. Like, my brain doesn't compute that. Like, from when I met him, I'm not a liar. I'm not a cheater. You were pretty comfortable eating Dee Dee's pussy that night, weren't you? Hmm? You're gonna tell me? You're gonna tell this guy has no problem? I hate him so much. He had a problem with me living with Pete's? Did I ever suck Pete's, Pete's wiener? Did I ever touch Pete's? Ever. Did I ever touch him? Ever. Did I ever touch him? Never. Never. Oh, I never fucked Dee Dee. Dee Dee, you swore on your mother's life. So if she, something happens to her, that's on your head. That's disgusting. You both swear on your mother's life. Anyway, I know exactly, but whatever. Mm, and it's like, why did I believe them? Because like she so effortlessly lied for him about Ashley, and like she's used to being with men like him. Like she doesn't mind. So that's why he's like, you know. But like, ah. Uh, see Georgia Peach, welcome. Sorry, I'm kind of ranting, but welcome. You think? Um, oh, I you. What? So anyways, no, I don't have better things to do because my mind is cluttered with shit, with fucking shit, and that's all I can care about. Like right now, for some reason, I don't know. It's like, I'm, it's like that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes I'm okay and sometimes I'm not. You're like, not. I don't know. I can't control it. And then he doesn't treat me with respect. Like when I tell him how I'm feeling, I cry to him. I call him, and Dee Dee's in the fucking background because you're using her. You don't have your own fucking place, and you never will because you're a fucking bum. And you don't make anything on your channel anymore because your food sucks. Oh, I thought. Okay, I gotta get off line. Oh, I found it. So my charger does work in the wall, apparently. I don't know why. There's no, more to like, come. He keeps fucking around with me like that. Like, mm. See you oh, on the next one. That. Love you, treasures.